movement disorders can be kind of categorized into three general types. You can have too much movement, too little movement, or uncontrolled movement. Uh, the most common type of movement disorder we see is tremor, which would be too much movement. And tremor then can come in two different varieties. Uh, essential tremor, which is also referred to as intention tremor, which happens with movement when you intend to do something, that's when the tremor shows up. Or a resting tremor, which occurs when your arms or hands are at rest and not involved in some sort of activity. And that resting tremor is most typically seen in Parkinson's disease. The most common movement disorder we see is essential tremor, and that can occur, in some estimates, up to 5% of the population. Uh, Parkinson's disease is also a common cause of tremor. Probably about 1% of the population over the age of 60. Thankfully, it's much more rare in younger folks. The other types of movement disorder that we see, uh, when there's too much movement, can be a dyskinesia, which is sort of an uncontrolled movement or dystonia, which is a sustained muscle contraction. Uh, one example of that would be torticollis, where an individual has muscle contraction in neck muscles that causes their head to remain in an uncomfortable position unless treated. Um, on the other side of the coin, we have the not enough movement, and there actually uh, Parkinson's disease, again, is probably the most common. Parkinson's can also cause what's known as bradykinesia, or slow movement. And uh, you may have seen someone with Parkinson's who tends to sit very still with very little facial expression other than the movement or tremor of their hands. Essential tremor is often a familial trait, although it may start later in life even if there is no family history. Uh, Parkinson's disease is rarely clearly inherited. Uh, you may inherit a certain susceptibility or propensity to developing Parkinson's disease, but it's not usually something that runs in families. One thankfully uncommon type of movement disorder that we see is Huntington's chorea. Uh, chorea is sort of a spontaneous uh, movement of the limbs that the individual can't control. It, there may be quick sort of uh, classically referred to as dance-like movements, and Huntington's chorea is a dominantly inherent genetic trait. We don't as yet really have a cure for the common movement disorders such as essential tremor and Parkinson's disease. Uh, we do have medications that may help to control the symptom of essential tremor. Uh, they generally reduce the tremor but not necessarily eliminate the tremor. Uh, we have a number of medication options for treating Parkinson's disease to maintain function and quality of life. In some cases the best treatment may be a device called a deep brain stimulator or DBS which is an electrode implanted in the brain and attached to a pacemaker in the chest which can be programmed to help control the tremor without having to worry about medication side effects. We do have specialists here that uh, have years or even decades of experience in diagnosing and treating movement disorders. And we do have uh, experience with deep brain stimulators as well.